Scandi, I think, is a legendary opening if you know the themes. Like, I'm going to play it as black and explain why I think it's pretty good. But if you don't know the basic themes of what you're aiming for, and it seems like nobody who's actually played it with black against me does know the themes, then it's, uh, then it's, uh, it's, it's very bad. Very, very bad. And the Oscar goes to Hikaru Nakamura. Uh, let me stop the clock for a second. Let me see where we're at. Was that number 10? Where the first game was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think this is one where he didn't make any... He, he did make moves. Okay, so yeah. So we're, we're at 10 right now. Okay, let's keep going. Next game. Play E4. Let me start the clock, of course. Go knight F3. Play bishop C4. Okay, now I'm going to play the Jerome. Jerome, I believe, is takes, right? Or is it knight e5? Jerome, I believe, is bishop f7. So let's play the Jerome gambit with knight takes and queen h5. Very, very aggressive opening here. First popularized by Jerome, of course, the famous poker player in Atlantic City. Let's play queen h5 um, and take the bishop. And d6, maybe just queen e3. Should be pretty good. Now, of course, this shouldn't be great, but I do get a lot of pawns here in the center of the board very, very quickly. Uh, I can just castle and play f4. Now he goes knight g4. He's trying to be very hyper aggressive with the knight, but he doesn't. But you gotta relax, dude. You gotta develop your pieces. You can't win a game with these knights. So he gets too aggressive too early, and he's gonna he's gonna pay a very heavy price. He's just he's just he, yeah a little bit too aggressive, a little bit too cocky, whatever you want to call it, and he's gonna get steamrolled now. Just castle here. You are lucky I'm too lazy to boot up the Sykes. I will mate you in 15. Okay, bring it on, dude. Bring it on. Can't stop an avalanche with a horse. That feels like some kind of bad joke. I mean, it's like, how do you stop, uh, how do you stop an avalanche with a horse? I don't know. The horse does something. That sounds like one of those bad jokes. Um, I think it's a bunch of day cloud for the prime thing. Samsung and Linux. Thank you. Carlinho as well. Appreciate it. So let's just take. Beautiful design. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Big shout out to one of my Brazilian... Um, Brazilian uh, editors who made this great, great layout. Um, so big shout out to Ayrton. Just take the queen and play knight d5 here. Oh, it's a levy quote. Okay, why am I not surprised? Let's go knight f6 here. Yeah. Junga Union, best organization brooder. I don't speak Deutsch. Sorry. Um, thank you, Jello. Jello, appreciate. Thanks for Jello or Jalo. Sorry for the four, not Jello. Although Jello is still married to Ben, right? Jello and Ben Affleck. Still a thing, I think. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, let's just take and go check again. Jallo 66 just took yeah, I think it's our Jallo. Appreciate it. Let's go check. Checkmate. Next game. That's 11, so four more to go. Okay, we're going to keep playing Siciliano because Siciliano, very good opening. Is he going to play me Smith Moore against me? He might. Now, if he does play the Smith Moore, I'm going to suggest that a beginner, you just reject it, and you just fianchito the bishop with g6, bishop g7. Just ignore all the nonsense. Develop the knight, the bishop, d6. These next five moves should be very, very basic. You shouldn't really run into any issues until you finish your development with bing, boom, bang. Things are just obeying you, cute. Just keep following through with the development. Nothing's hanging. Takes. It's just, just a trade. It was e5, so he's trying to get aggressive here. Um, uh, I guess... I'll just take. Why not? It's just a free pawn. Let's just trade. And now I'll finish my development, as always. Just knight f6 and cast the king out of the center of the board. Let's keep going. Number 12. So three more to 15. Okay, let's keep playing Siciliano. Now we're going to get our accelerated dragon, which is what we were hoping for. Um, I'm going to play the Alpen. I'm surprised that a 600 plays this, but... Let me think. So if I'm playing as a beginner and they play C3. I would probably, even though this isn't the best way to play, I would probably be, I would not play Knight of Six. I'd probably follow the basic setup with C D6. He's probably going to go D4. Takes. I would just develop normally here where I follow the exact same pattern. Okay, he goes E5, I take. If he takes with the pawn, we trade the Queens. And I have Knight G4. So he tries to strike too early and now he's going to lose material. And he's actually going to lose the game. D5 is, at the top level, the best move. But I think if you're a beginner, 
if you can follow the basic themes of playing d6 knight f6 castle and bishop g4 that's more important than the absolute best variation so i guess i'll play knight c6 now he's going to be able to trap the pony in the corner but i am ahead in material so even though he wins the knight he still is losing a rook for a bishop and now this will be over very soon let's play rook d8 here did hikaru win the cup yes i did win the stanley cup you guys uh i, I won this tournament and in um st louis they're gonna send me a nice little cup i'll, I'll take it away for the whole summer and, and drink uh drink beer out of it let's trade the bishop for the knight i will keep trading trading everything down because i just have a simple extra rook on the board let's trade just keep trading i mean i'm happy to trade go rook d2 create the classic kebab pin the king on the back row Okay, it's gonna be over pretty soon get six knights no there we go checkmate okay next game all right let's play e4 here okay let's most people don't play the modern at this level so I of course have a lot of experience because I played Wesley so in the American Cup and he did play the modern um Knight is another system that when I was very young in the late 1990s there was an international master in New York by the name of Jay Bonin who actually played this d6 knight f6 knight c6 setup against me in many games when I was around master level so if I think back you know about like 25 years ish I remember when Jay would always play this line with knight c6 against me and um I think usually I would just play standard with like knight f3 bishop e2 and bishop e3 I think there was J314 for the nine. Let's take a deep deep pen for the tier one. Uh let's just go bishop e2 and takes. Let's take. E5, good move by my opponent. I'm gonna play bishop e3, just make some trades in the center. I guess I'll castle. He'll probably castle too. I'm gonna uh, as a beginner th theme, I would say d5 is okay. Either move is fine. I mean, if I was playing, I, I wouldn't play either move. But at this level, it's more important to follow some basics. So I'm going to play knight two. Do I gamble? No, I don't, you guys. I, I mean, that's not my thing. You never know. Maybe if I go to kick, I, I, I would do some of that. But pretty unlikely that, that that I'll ever get into that. It's just not my thing. I mean, I have I have done some sports betting, but that's about it. About it. The bi the biggest gamble that I ever did was uh, I was in I was in Monte Carlo nearly. Um, nearly uh 12 years ago to the day pretty much i was in monte carlo there was this tournament called the amber rapid and blind tournament and i went to the grand casino in uh, in monte carlo and i um i went to the grand casino and i bet i believe it was one thousand dollars on red i went i went and did roulette and i bet a thousand bucks on red and it was red so i won a thousand dollars that's the biggest bet i ever did things are mr dislike for the prime so yep Okay, now my man guards the pawn, logical move, but unfortunately after a3, the knight is trapped. Knight has no squares to go to, everything is stuck, and this should be GG. All in on the pink? Yeah, exactly. Let's keep going. I think that was 14, right? I'm going to pull up uh, on the other monitor. I'll pull up. Zoids was number number 11, I remember. Um, so, oh wait, I got to make a move. Um, let's go e4. Um... Where's my profile? Okay, I will uh, Scandinavian again, which of course. Oh, let's play Knight F3 here. This will be number 15 um, when I win this, I believe. Oh, well, it's kind of weird because chess.com is not updating. When I go to my history, it's not actually saving the games. It's not saving the games, but this is 15, I'm almost certain. So play D4 and Bishop D3. I think there's an Amarac for the 24 and Zaharius for the prime. Appreciate it. Just keep developing. Castle the king out of the center of the board. Yay! Amemic just.
just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Two years sub easy. Let me up update the score because this will be 15 when I win this game. Okay, he goes there. He should trade to the Knights, but we are going to win. Let's play Knight 5 Attack the Queen. Bishop guards the pawn. I have a wooden shield. And there goes the Queen. A typical Botez gambit. Increase the volume. I think volume is good. Let's make a check again. If somebody pushes the F pawn early, there are always ideas of these tactics where you are able to win material due to the right triangle. Volume is good. Great. Let's take. Doesn't this get boring? Um, it, it, it'll get better as we go. But also, I think people learn something from it. Like, again, even if these people are blundering right away, the basic setup of playing Knight F3, finishing your development, is something that you can learn from. It is something you can learn from. We are learning. I mean, again, there you can you can as long as you know some very basic moves, that's already a very good start. Okay, let's take the pawn. Can I get a smother checkmate here? I guess I can't. I wish there was a way to get a smother checkmate. Actually, maybe I'll, I'm going to try to get really tricky with bishop c8 here. I think there's a Kara, yes, and I get it. Check. Oh, this is this this isn't quite a smother checkmate, but it's still something. It's still something. Okay, let's keep going with the e4. Weird. Okay, so again, everybody's playing. Okay, now at least this guy has a plan of going back but see now that he's gone back i developed the knight i'm gonna take center i'm gonna create the classic great op here on d3 while castle if he takes the pawn he's gonna get uh fossilized because if he takes 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 i have check and then i win the queen on d4 let's take the pawn there goes the knight let's go back trade off the bishop for the knight i mean i'm, I'm very happy here i just keep trading off everything because i have an extra 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 priest i'll stop the checkmate Yeah, I would definitely recommend playing knight f3 with the idea of knight c3 and d4 or knight f3, bishop e2, and castle. If they try to push right away, then you kick the queen back. But I think knight f3 is better than playing knight c3 on move 3. Let's go bishop f4, attack the queen. Scandi, I think, is a legendary opening if you know the themes. Like, I'm going to play it as black and explain why I think it's pretty good. But if you don't know the basic themes of what you're aiming for, it seems like nobody who's actually played it with black against me does know the themes, then it's, uh, then it's, uh, it's, it's very bad. Very, very bad. I wish chess.com showed how many hours you spent on the website. Eh, I think if that happened, a lot of people would 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 have arguments with their uh, with their wives. Just a guess. Let's play rookie one here. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that if uh, yeah if that was if that counted, there are a lot of people who their they, their wives would be yelling at them um, uh, uh, quite a bit. Let's leave it at that. Uh, now I can obviously take the bishop, but I'm I'm gonna go rook f2 here and then bishop bishop e5 next move. take think you know boomy do boomy doll for the prime mother as well but i mean but it's different because i'm because because your mom's not going to be like that your mom's gonna be like you know go do your homework go to school all these things but they, it's, it's a little bit different let's just take the night how many hours do i think i have on the website i don't know but i remember the old days when i used to be on the internet chess club they had something which showed like the percentage of life on the internet chess club and i think at some point i was up around like 15 percent from when i opened my account like 15 percent of like of the hours of of, my, of the, that it passed since i opened the account it was like 15 percent at one point but by the end it was like maybe seven percent so I, you guys can do the math what that works out to seven percent in a year um what's that that's 24 hours 365 and seven percent so that's like 10 percent would be what 24 so 2.4 hours every single day or something I should be checkmate. Next game, let's keep going. That's number 16. Four to go. Let's keep going. Okay, he plays Scandinavia, or not Scandinavia, plays the Ali Ekans defense. I think this is a very bad opening at the beginner level because I'm going to start pushing P right away. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can end up in a lot of trouble with black. Now, I'm willing to take these double pawns. Or you can just hang the knight and lose because you don't know the opening. This also works. Um, let's go back. So I've won one. So this will be number 17 now. This will be 17 when I win this game against player green. Sidlow just Sidlow for the three months. Appreciate it. 
again you can't just move your knight you, you have to use all your forces you can't just win the game with a lone horse I mean this guy thinks he's like Don Quixote or something where he's like he, he's, he's just one one little horse one little pony it's not enough so last game was 16 right last game was Stecky that's 16. to be 17 when I win this game against player green can't stop an avalanche with a horse thank you go here can't develop any of these pieces five bad pieces let's just take with check classic um classic fossil in multiple ways let's take it should be winning okay next game three to go for 20. okay now I'm gonna play Scandinavian and show you guys how to do it I'm gonna play multiple openings like I'm gonna show you guys why the Scandinavian is a good opening let's go Queen a5 because now this is the set you want the Queen here the pawn here these these this was Bishop f5 e6 these are the the fundamental building blocks of the Scandinavian is you take you move the Queen he resigns okay fine so be it Ukai oh, let's play Knight f3 he doesn't let me show it let's keep playing our I think I'm gonna play an Evans Gam this time so let's let's go for the classic Antonio Radich or a Gadmator opening with b4 Bishop b6 is actually a move I've played it quite a bit against Sergei Zhigalko and Arena Kings in title Tuesday not the best move but it doesn't lose either however I'm gonna make him lose quickly with b5 because now the Knight is overloaded and I just went upon in the center of the board Knight can't keep guarding because I eat the Knight this will be number 19 so let me update the score to 20. Queen e7 is an excellent move wow or is it I guess I have King f1 I have King f1 and I guess it's not that excellent on first glance I thought this was excellent because he hits the King but I'm probably still in great great shape the Evans is absolutely legendary it is it's a legendary opening I mean the sea commander what was his name Captain Evans of like the British British Navy he's or the Royal Navy wasn't he the guy who invented the opening I mean he was a, he was a sea captain I think Captain Evans there's a free pony I will gladly capture you get the win one more to 20. okay plays d4 so I'm gonna go back to the King's Indian now because it's pretty uh or you can hang upon move two if you're not paying attention now I'm gonna drop the knight back put the bishop on g7 and then castle and play d6 classic King's Indian setup here he didn't invent it he loved it well yeah he was the, he was the first guy I thought Captain Morgan or Evan Williams got to choose one. His name was Captain Evans. He was a uh, he, he he was he was an actual captain in the Royal Navy in like the was it like the early 1800s. I think something like that. Let's castle. He's gonna go 97 rookie eight. Classic King's Indian setup here. What do you do if you get attacked in the King's Indian? You don't. You're the one attacking. You get 70k people in four hours and Zayu pull streamer got it in five minutes funny I I don't know I don't know what's what's are you trying to like say that I should be jealous or something that that is great though to see 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 some of the other languages are really popping off like Spanish of course is like the most insane one I'm gonna go knight d5 here I guess I, I don't really have a good theme here my all-time favorite opening there are many I mean probably King's Indian I have the most memorable games in that but there are many many uh many openings let's go to 5 here and trade let's take with the knight and take with the pawn and again I have double pawns he has weaknesses in the center though but he's playing this pretty well I like his opening so far there goes the pawn let's take and play rook c8 I guess I'll go queen a5 to hit the rook hit the pawn on c5 go here stack try to win the game instantly things are just a bubble twitch for the prime things are just a bubble twitch let's go here stack the towers try to win this pawn Uh, I can play rook c5 here I think I just take because I'm pinning the tail on the donkey and I'm gonna win the game well, 
When I'm gonna show the Danish opening, um, you mean the Danish Gambit? I mean, Danishes are great. I don't have any Danishes here right now because I haven't been to Costco in a little while, but uh, Danishes are fantastic, but the, you're thinking of the Danish Danish Gambit. It's an opening where you Gambit pawns. I think I already did one of them. I already did one. Good D4, D3. I mean, Danishes are fantastic. Let's go here, let's go here. Let's fix the juicers. Does he, does he remember the glitch with M Peasant? He does. Very nice. There we go. We're going to get the win here. All right. That's number 20. Let's keep going. 